वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट ब्लॉटिंग टेक्निक दैट इज नदन ब्लॉटिंग इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस सदन ब्लॉटिंग नाउ व्हाट इज ब्लॉटिंग दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी विल क्विकली रिमाइंड दैट व्हाट इज ब्लॉटिंग इट इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ मैक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स फ्रॉम जेल ऑन टू द मेम्ब्रेन दैट इज द ब्लॉटिंग ओके now northern blotting it is the technique for the analyze or study of the rna okay that is the northern blotting in southern blot we analyze the dna and in northern blot we analyze the rna so this is the technique for the detection of specific rna sequence northern blotting was developed by scientist james alvin and george stack at stanford university in the years 1979 and was named analogy to the southern blotting okay why so because the procedure involved in the northern blotting is similar to that of the southern blotting with slight differences okay with major with minor differences uh this northern blotting is somewhat similar to that of the uh, southern blotting so the names are been in the opposite manner northern and southern okay so that is the main thing what is the difference between northern and southern blotting maine aapko kaha ki there is slight difference okay so when we will see actual steps involved in the northern blotting that time you will come to know that what is the difference between these two techniques in the procedure okay so before going to the steps of the northern blotting i'll tell you background of this uh, northern blotting we'll see you we know that uh, central dogma of the body dna is transcribed into rna known as transcription further rna is translated into protein known as translation okay so this is the central dogma now if we want to determine that how actively the gene is transcribed okay if you want to determine how actively the gene or rna is transcribed means the level of gene expression if you want to determine that can be determined by amount of rna transcribed right amount of rna transcribed ke zariye hum determine kar se kar sakte level of gene expression and this overall can be determined by the process known as northern blotting means what if we want to determine that how actively hamara rna express ho raha hai okay kitne amount mein express ho raha hai kitne actively express ho raha hai ye agar hame determine karna hai to hum use karte hain northern blotting technique okay so this is the major difference wahan dna aur yahan rna okay so if we want to determine how actively gene is how actively our rna is been expressed we use this northern blotting technique so let's start with the step our uh, first step is we have to isolate rna from any biological sample okay so suppose from cell we have isolated our rna okay so first step is isolation of rna from cell okay we'll consider cell this rna is then separated by using agarose gel electrophoresis so rna samples are loaded onto the gel and process is carried out depending on the molecular weight rna molecules will separate definitely large molecule will move slowly and small molecule will move fast rna is negative uh, negatively charged so it will attract towards the positive charge uh, sorry positive electrode so it will move from negative to positive okay so depend on the molecular weight rna molecules will separate the main difference between this now the main difference between southern and northern blot is in the agarose gel electrophoresis composition the composition is same but just there is extra addition of formal aldehyde okay and this we add extra ingredient that is formal aldehyde because the property of rna is uh, rna can fold itself okay rna can fold itself and form the secondary structure rna ye linear structure mein hota hai it is single stranded but it has the property to fold itself and form the or turn into the secondary structure so to prevent the formation of secondary structure we add the formaldehyde this formaldehyde prevent the rna from or prevent the rna turning into turning it into the secondary structure and maintain 
इट इन टू दी लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर ओके तो फॉर्मल डिहाइड क्या करता है आर एन ए को लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर में मेंटेन करता है एंड इट प्रिवेंट एंड इट प्रिवेंट इट्स फोल्डिंग रिजल्टिंग इन टू द सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर सो वी एड दी फॉर्मल डिहाइड एंड इन सदर्न ब्लॉटिंग वॉट वी हैव डन After gel electrophoresis, the separated DNA fragments along with the gel we have dipped into the NaOH solution, and in this we have added extra ingredient into the gel that is formaldehyde to prevent RNA from folding and to maintain it into the linear structure. Okay, so that is the reason behind addition of formaldehyde. Once RNA are been separated on the basis of its molecular weight. this rna along with that gel is um, carried out for the further process that is blotting okay so separated rna is placed onto the nylon membrane or nitrocellulose membrane so how it has been uh, how this process is is been carried out that we have already discussed in southern blotting so same yahan par applicable hai what Uh, there we have taken a uh, tray okay onto that tray we have add the buffer solution onto that we have kept support um, support any sponge or glass okay onto that glass or sponge we have uh, added or we have placed gel okay we have placed gel containing rna onto that gel we have kept the membrane nitrocellulous membrane onto the membrane we have kept watman filter paper and onto that what man filter paper we have placed wet why wet just to you know, fix all these things or to firmly attach all these things okay so is tarike se kuch design hota hai like a sandwich arrangement hum use keh sakte hai diagram mein bhi dikhaya gaya hai like sandwich arrangement hum uh, karte hain so the process has been carried out once the once our paper gets wet it indicates that our rna which has been separated using gel electrophoresis that is been transferred onto the nylon membrane okay to ek bar paper wet ho jata hai to hum nylon membrane we remove that nylon membrane okay uh, containing our transferred rna okay so in the next step what we do we add that rna or we add that membrane along with the rna onto the सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग प्रोप ओके रेडियो लेबल्ड प्रोप तो हम वो नाइलॉन मेम्ब्रेन विच कंटेन आवर ट्रांसफर्ड आर एन ए इज एडेड ऑन टू द प्रोप सोल्यूशन प्रोप आर शॉर्ट ऑलिगो न्यूक्लियोटाइड सिक्वेंस हंड्रेड टू वन फिफ्टी न्यूक्लियोटाइड सिक्वेंस विच आर रेडियो लेबल्ड ओके सो वी एड दी प्रोप दैट आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू आवर आर एन ए सिक्वेंस ओके और वी कैन से आर एन ए फ्रैगमेंट्स तो जो प्रोप कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री हो गए दे विल गेट बाइंड टू आवर आर एन ए सिक्वेंस एंड द अनकॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सिक्वेंस विल रिमेन अनबाउंड ओके तो दैट कॉम्प्लीमेंशन इज डिटेक्टेड बाय ऑटो रेडियोग्राफी ओके दैट डिपेंड ऑन हाउ आवर प्रोब इज लेबल्ड इफ इट इज रेडियो लेबल्ड तो ऑटो रेडियोग्राफी परफॉर्म की जाती है If it if it is fluorescently labeled, then fluorescence means yellowish color से detect किया जाता है ठीक है If yellowish color formation is there, then it indicates that our RNA जो हमारा gene uh, gene of interest था it has been present. Okay, so that is the uh, depend on the labeling of the probe. We use the detection technique. So suppose our probe is uh, radio labeled, we use the auto radiography technique. If RNA molecule is showing complementary sequence with probe, RNA molecule is ex is expressed. Okay, मतलब RNA molecule अगर complementary होगा probe के साथ and if probe will be complementary to RNA, they will get bind and there will be formation of the bands. Okay, you can see the black color bands are there. So that formation of the band indicates that our gene of interest is been present or we can say expression ho chuka hai okay if ek expression is there okay band formation of band indicates that our rna is been expressed and further graph is also there okay graph is also been developed uh, in the auto radio graphy so this is the procedure of northern blotting so this is diagrammatic representation and flow chart representation sample RNA extraction, then electrophoresis is carried out. Extra ingredient is added. 
that is formaldehyde to prevent rna in its linear structure and prevent formation of secondary structure okay then after separation this membrane or we can say this gel along with the separated fragments it's placed onto the nylon membrane okay then afterwards this nylon membrane along with the rna is uh, placed onto the solution containing probes complementary sequence will bind then visualization is done by auto radiography okay the bands appear onto the x-ray film the formation of the band indicates that our rna is been expressed okay or our rna is been transferred so that is the uh, that are the steps involved in the nodal blotting okay if we will see the applications of this it is used for the study of gene expression secondly it is used for the detection of mrna for the study of rna degradation for the study of rna splicing and also it is used to confirm and check transgenic animals transgenic animals are the animals in which foreign gene is inserted okay foreign gene is inserted that are known as the transgenic animal and the well known example of transgenic animal is mice okay knockout mice or transgenic mice so it is also this technique is also used to confirm transgenic mice just performing taking uh, the rat mice we perform this technique and uh, we can check okay so that is the that are the applications of northern blotting if we will see disadvantage or they are not disadvantage but limitations of this northern blotting are now this uh, pcr technique polymerized chain reaction technique have replaced northern blotting and southern blotting just due to the you know, precise and uh, advanced technologies in pcr so this pcr has reflect, replaced replaced this both the technique northern and southern blotting second in this uh, detection with multiple probe is a problem we just add single uh, probes means uh, just complementary sequence hame pata hoti hai definitely probes ki complementary sequence hame pata hoti hai matlab probe ki sequence hame pata hoti hai we can't use multiple probes in that uh, uh, just single probe is been used so detection with multiple probe is a problem so these are certain disadvantage or you can say limitation of northern blotting okay so this is all procedure and applications and disadvantages of technique northern blotting i hope you might have understood in next lecture we will discuss our last blotting technique that is western blot thank you